What's up guys? Uh, got this heavy duty folding cargo carrier from Harbor Freight. So doing an unboxing and uh, let you know, let you guys know how I like this thing. I actually got it because Bertha does not have a generator. And there's another coach that's similar to Bertha that's called a Hall GTC. Uh, it's kind of windy, sorry. And the generator went right here, and it looks like a big generator door. But if you open this door, it's like maybe six inches deep, if that. So we're going to have to put a generator on the back in this cargo carrier to power the air conditioner, which... I've got this generator, but I'm getting another one. This one's just too big and heavy and too loud. So I'm going to get like an inverter generator. Oh man, I have my keys. No keys. Let me get the keys. All right, we got it all in lock now. So I'll show you the AC I picked up. And I got a really good deal on this AC. It was used. The guy that had it on his travel trailer decided to go with a 15,000 BTU. This is a 13.5. He had a pretty good sized travel trailer with really high ceilings, so it just didn't keep it cool enough. It only kept it about 80 degrees when he was like in Phoenix or something like that, and it was like 112 or something like that. So he decided to go with a bigger unit and get rid of this one i actually went to riverside and helped him pull it off of the roof this is the brand new bottom control unit so hopefully it's the right one and uh trying to find somebody to install this has been like finding a needle in a haystack in the desert it's insane i mean there's plenty of shops that can do it but they're all on backlog even camper world like a week to two weeks so i found a shop here in yucca valley right next to joshua tree that can do it but he said a week week and a half out so that sucks i could almost do it myself but i really want it done right so uh it's a very reputable shop so we're gonna see how they do and if they do it right, I'll be uh, giving a review and uh, giving them a shout out in the future. So anyway, we're going to get this thing over here unboxed. Uh, if anybody wants to buy a generator, 300 bucks. So if it'll start, easily starts up pretty easy. Let's see what we got here. I can't start with this hand. And of course, it's not going to start because I said it starts easy. I can't start it with my left hand though. I'm right-handed and I'm holding the camera with my right hand. All right, so let's get this thing unboxed. Yep, there we go. All right, it's gonna be some assembly acquired. Looks like we have directions down there. Uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that difficult. I can't get this thing out of the box. It's pretty heavy with one hand, so we'll get it out and go from there. My last video, I was wearing the same clothes. That's because I did that video this morning, and I'm doing this one this afternoon and this evening. So this one's probably going to carry on into tomorrow. So I'll be wearing different clothes tomorrow. So don't think I'm wearing these same clothes every day. I am a vagabond, but I do change clothes from time to time. I do want to show you guys something that's kind of cool. But moving, I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. I have a every season I get Dove up here that are nesting and so i have a mama and two baby dove up here you turn this around and see if you can see them hi babies <laughs> they're so cute <laughs> but i gotta move them or something i don't know what i'm gonna do or maybe just leave that shelf there i don't know if the landlord's gonna like that or not but it's really windy out here guys i put my external mic on so hopefully it's not quite as bad but hopefully uh I have Bertha ready even before the air conditioner and so I can get out of this house. I still have to figure out where I'm going to do, what I'm going to do with my Harley Davidson. I think I've got a place to store it. I may end up just selling it. I have to tune the carb up because it's been setting. Carbs come up. It will start. This is the one that's going to be hard to find some place to store. I don't know. I can pay $100 a month and store it at the same place my storage building is. I'm trying to save money and I'm going to be paying over $200 a month just for storage. 
See if we can get this thing to start. Might be fun. Turn the gas on. Might be fun for you guys. Probably the generator won't start. I tell you guys a price on the generator and then it doesn't start. Story of my life. All right, here we go. Let's try this. I'll get to pull the choke out. There we go. What the? Just like I said, it won't stop. It's not even turning over. What the hell? Alright, that's weird. Let me see if I can figure this out. Alright, I do believe I figured the problem out. Just wasn't making good contact from the button I was pushing far enough. Alright. I actually used to have two Harleys and I sold one of them, gosh, three years ago. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to have this one. If anybody wants to buy it, let me know because I haven't ridden in like two years. Uh, but it, like you saw, it starts up pretty well. Still need to clean the car, like I said. But. And I actually just put a brand new battery on it. So it's got a brand new battery. It's only been on there maybe a week. So if we can get this generator to start now. I'm gonna finish putting this thing together and I'll give you a look at it once I'm done. It's day two and as promised, I took a shower and changed clothes. Tonight I got the cargo carrier put together and got it put on the RV. As you can see, uh, it works pretty good. Still gotta get a generator for it. But it's just too big and loud. Heavy, so gonna get a different generator. I am hoping to be out of here by Sunday. It's Friday. Uh, man, this is a lot more to this than I expected it to be. But we're getting closer. And like I said, I think by Sunday, hopefully, if everything goes right, we're going to be out of here. Uh, question was, will this Harley fit on that Harbor Freight cargo carrier? Heavy duty Hallmaster cargo carrier. Well, this cargo carrier is 60 inches long. This Harley is over seven and a half feet long. So six feet, seven and a half feet, that Harley's not gonna fit on there. The Sportster that I had that I sold a couple years, I think it might fit on there with some modifications. With the right hitch receiver, the gross weight on that carrier is actually 750 pounds this motorcycle dry weight is 755 pounds that's with no gas in it no oil no fluid so it won't but you could probably modify it to make it um, I'm putting this thing in storage for the time being but what I actually may do at some point is get a hydraulic motorcycle lift I know I've seen them for 1500 to two, used to four grand new so I'm not completely sure but I actually may get a hydraulic cargo carrier I mean a hydraulic motorcycle carrier and then put my Harley take it out of storage and put it on the back of my motorhome I think that would be the coolest thing or I may sell that and get like an enduro that wouldn't be as hard to load and if I dropped it it wouldn't be as much damage loading it but I don't know those are all stuff still questions in the future 
Uh, need to go get a generator today, hopefully. Uh, I think I'm going with the Ryobi with the Bluetooth because I want to be able to control it from inside my motorhome. And I think I'm going to go buy one of those. But I like the Champion because it's 2800 watts, which is a lot of power. But I have a soft start kit on the air conditioner that I purchased. So I think the 2200 watt from the Ryobi, I've seen them running the 13,000.5, 13, 13 13 13.5 BTU rooftop air conditioners and mine has a soft start kit on it so it should work it pretty well. Okay guys, I don't wanna spend a lot of time on this cause it's a negative, it's got a negative connotation to it but in my last video I made reference to Nomadic Fanatic. I understand Eric has a lot of haters, a lot of trolls. The whole RV community has a lot of trolls. Um, and I understand that. And a couple of them made their way over to my last video. And they lit up the comments and, you know, they're, they're trying to flame me down or burn me down or whatever. And I, I have no problem with that, dude. I've been on the internet since 1994. Since before, like a year before Selena died, I was on the internet. So I've been on the internet forever. I remember in the mid 90s, late 90s, being on the bulletin board systems, then being on the forums. There used to be one called Amateur Masters for Amateur Webmasters that I was on because I used to do, uh, I used to hand code websites back in the day in HTML and HTM. So I've been on the internet for a while. So I can pretty much hang with any troll that's on the internet today. I've had a lot of fun on forums over the years. So if you want to flame me or, Try to troll me or burn me down. You're not going to get under my skin or make me mad or make me disable co my comments or anything like that. Um, seller McSeller Fee or whatever his name is that's trolling my comments and saying, warning, we have another e-beggar here in the making. I just wanted to show you this. This is, I'm going to try to cover up my address here, but this is my paycheck, bro. And it comes from... It comes from Entertainment Enterprises in Burbank, California, and it's for working on this TV, sh this Fox TV show that's in the production. It's in production right now. That's called Orville, and it is produced and directed by none other than Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, he's a great guy to work with. Great guy to work for. A great guy to be on set with. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Again, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you later.